They do two hikes while they're here, you know, so they do a practice hike uh, where they learn navigation, emergency response. They have to they have to practice an emergency scenario where they get on the two-way radio and have to call it into staff and staff respond as if it was a real emergency. And all of this is preparing them for their three-day hike where staff will actually go out with them on the first day and stay with them overnight on the first night. And what staff are doing essentially is just accompanying the, uh, the group but in, in, in a way that they don't necessarily intervene with the group decisions. So they're wanting the students to make those decisions, you know, about navigation decisions, which way do we go? Where are we up to on our track notes? Um, when, do we, when, when and where do we stop for a break? How long do we stop for a break? And so students learn very quickly that they have to manage that, otherwise, you know, they get in at night time, they get in the dark. Staff are watching that and assessing that, and if they believe that it's appropriate, the next day they will actually let the students go on their own. And we believe that's an important part of the program. We call it indirect supervision. Uh, it's not removing supervision, but it's, uh, but it's having it in, a, in, a, in the context of being indirect. So students can still call up staff on the two-way radio and we can access them um, by vehicle. And the idea is that students then, um, uh, even though they have already been responsible for their own decisions, uh, it ups the ante if you like. And students will commonly say, even though they were making decisions, it's different when you've got a staff person there. When that person goes, it's like, well, this is for real, you know, we really are on our own. And, uh, and it just changes the dynamic and it, and it lifts the level of challenge and that's what we're looking to do. We're on hike, it's pretty much three day, you're sent out in a, in a group, you'll choose how long you want to go and you just, you'll go unaccompanied. So you'll build that resilience to bond as a group and just keep pushing on. Your feet will hurt, other body parts will hurt, but you just got to keep pushing on. And then some of the campsites there are just amazing. I commonly find that three day hike is probably one of the most rewarding things at Guga. It's not unusual for a fair percentage of students to, uh, to really dislike it at times, you know, uh, and say how hard it was, but it's such a feeling of achievement for them to arrive back at Guga. It's a very empowering experience, I think, for students, um, because many of them don't think they're gonna make it, they think they're gonna die out there, you know. It's, they all get a bit dramatic about it, go, oh, I can't do it, you know, and, and, but, but they do, you know, and I think that's quite powerful.